morning guys welcome to the vlog if you missed the last one go watch that because it was a very fun vlog Cal and I just spent some time over in Atlanta and got to see Steph and had some fun times at the aquarium and went shopping and all this fun stuff now in today's vlog we are about to road trip over to Alabama Birmingham Alabama to be specific it's about a two-hour road trip and I'm so excited I love a road trip and there's so much food that we want to stop for on the way I'll explain more in the car but we're going to Matt King and Patricia's wedding which is gonna be so much fun I don't know how much of the actual wedding I'm gonna vlog for you guys because obviously I'm gonna be a little busy having fun but I'll definitely vlog the in-between and everything like that and it's gonna be really fun so cannot wait we're about to head out the door it's really chilly outside today and I want some soup and we found a place that's doing clam chowder it's like a seafood restaurant across the street so we're gonna walk over there and let's head out we're walking to grab some food this is my favorite weather I love like 50s 60s chilly gloomy I'm so happy LA has been like 80 90 degrees lately what a beautiful city and a delicious subway. We love the smell of a subway. I don't care if it's fake bread, yoga mat bread, it's good. We are going to Brown Bag Seafood Company. Yummy. We got this menu and you mark your dry erase on there. Love it. I want a mini chowder with a garlic bread. And I think I want a lobster roll. I guess I'll do no bread if I'm getting a lobster roll. Hey guys, this is my first time. Cal insisted I try Southern Sweet Tea. It's good. It's yeah. just a little too sweet for me. As someone who likes unsweet tea, yeah. I mean, that is sweet tea. Yeah. Sweet tea. <laughs> yeah, sweet tea. Mm. Actually, it's really good. It's really like growing it's up. Good. It's good. <laughs> it's delicious. I just am used to like sugar free tea. Oh, yeah. Mm. That stuff's got sugar. It's better than Chick fil A tea, I will say that. Yeah. Mmm. My southern boy. Back to his southern roots. I've never been a fan of, of sweet, sweet tea. tea. What do you like? I don't know. No grits? No sweet tea? I want more grits. Oh my god. The grits were so good yesterday. Guys. You know, I will say, after having been away from it for so long, this is really good. Yeah. I like it. I changed my mind. I saw Chloe Bounds eat a salmon salad, so I got a salmon salad. It looked really good. Salmon on top of like a greens mix. There's some Parmesan for the dressing. I did the lemon vinaigrette. I got my cup of clam chowder. I got the garlic bread. And they have so many sauces to choose from. We have boss sauce, which it's like their house special sauce. Tartar sauce, buttermilk ranch, ketchup, hot sauce, Cal got fish and chips, mm -hmm. coleslaw. Wow. We've made it to the Atlanta Botanical Garden and currently the festival is going on. So you can get a drink and walk I'll around. Try the, <laughs> it's so cute. I'll try the garden beer. Joining the botanical garden. Cal's got his beer. Everybody's just walking around with drinks. Look how cute this is. This is amazing. This map is crazy also. They have so many different gardens within here. Both Brooke okay. and Steph told me that we have to come here. Sorry, babe. Thank you. Good. We've got a Japanese garden. There's a rose garden. Children's garden. Oh my god. That looks like Tefiti. Cascades garden. There's a... Where was it? There's an edible garden over there that I want to check out. And an outdoor kitchen. There's so much to see. Perennial border. Great lawn. Okay, this is beautiful. And they have so many of like the local school's little art projects all around. It's adorable. They're all over. Ooh! Wow. Oh my god, Cal, look at Harry Potter. The Lost Minion. <laughs> also, considering that we're going to be in the car for a little while later, this is like a nice way for us to stretch our legs, get some fresh air. Scary Potter. Oh my god, look at their use of a spaghetti squash, a delicata. So adorable. A little, uh, what's that green one? Kabocha? That might be a kabocha. This is stunning. I'm making Cal take photos <laughs> with the roses. Yeah. Oh no, we like, gotta... I need a soft smile. No, take your beer. We don't need your beer in the photo. Put the we beer do down. Need the beer in the do like a sweet, <laughs> soft smile. Like we're doing a photo shoot. Like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> we got it. We found a dahlia. That is so beautiful. We found so many more dahlias. Wow. Look at this giant bushel. These are stunning. Baby frogs. It's, it's strictly just their diet. Wow. Yeah. I did not know that. That's so crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're so cute. Yellow. On the mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. But they've got this beautiful gold. We just saw the cutest little toad. And tell me, this does not remind everybody of that "That's So Raven" you episode. Like the it. humidity in yeah, here. It's crazy. This is giving "That's So Raven." Please tell me someone remembers. There is a giant snapping turtle in there. Henry would have gotten that big. We have entered the edible garden. Wow. I think it is a peach tree. This is just so big. I think you're right. I've or seen maybe one. they're kind of smooth. Honestly, I don't know what it is. You no, can't this really one's tell. Definitely peach. Oh. Oh, look at that one with the butt. This is so cute. We got leeks. We got some lettuce. I don't know. That might be like a kale of some sort. Maybe a chard. Dill. Oh my god. This is so 
pretty. We got some crazy looking squash here. I touch with one finger. I got a mango plant-based frozen popsicle, like a push pop, like the Flintstone ones from when I was a kid. Oh my goodness. She's stunning. Hello guys, we are on the road, on the way to Birmingham, Alabama. We've got like a two hour drive ahead of us. We've been driving for maybe like 20 minutes or so now and we just stopped at the gas station to pick up some energy drinks and fill up the car with some gas. Atlanta was so much fun. Hello? Oh, they're doing construction over there. That was such a fun trip between the aquarium, the botanical garden, seeing stuff. It was amazing. And yes, now let's go in and get us our sauces because I am getting Tired. <sighs> Starting at Pilot. They've got Dippin' Dots. We're gonna get a couple waters. Here they are, beautiful. Fabulous news, you guys. I got hungry, so we're stopping by Bojangles. We are beginning our fast food weekend. Oh yeah, a I see the Bo Bear biscuits. biscuits. Okay, I'm so excited, you guys. Here's the menu. Wow. Bojangles, I'll tell you about the Uh Yes, can you give us one second, please? Yeah, Should I do go. breakfast? No, I'm gonna do, okay. That's what I do every time. You're, oh, that's what you're getting? I got oh. Play biscuit combo. Oh, biscuit. oh, I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. I'm so sassy sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Any drink? Should I get a drink? You can get sweet tea. Bojangles is known for like sweet, sweet tea. tea. You can get like gallons of it, you know. Uh, excuse me, we're ready to order. Uh, one Cajun Flight biscuit combo. Can I do like a regular size cup of water? I'll do the fries, please, with a side of ranch. Hi, could I please do a number 12? Uh, I'll just do one side. Could I do the macaroni and cheese, please? And then can I also do a side of the potato rounds? And then a bowberry biscuit, please. We're out of bowberry. No. We'll go. We'll get one later. That's okay. Sorry. Okay. No, no all okay. good. Thank all you good. So much. <laughs> oh, a pot. I'll try that. Pot. Yes, please. One. Just one, please. I'll do. I'll do a Diet Mountain Dew, please. That'll be all. That'll Thank be you it. so much. Oh my god, she was so nice about them not them being out of Bowberry biscuits. I didn't know they had sweet potato pie. A sweet potato pie. Ah! This is gonna be amazing, you guys. Stay tuned. Are you so excited? When's the last time you had Bojangles? Three years ago. Wow. Yeah. If you guys remember yeah. when Cal and I were, I think we were living in the house, so it must have been like a year into our relationship. I tried to make Cal Bowberry biscuits from scratch, and I mean, they were pretty good. They were pretty good. But I didn't know what I was trying to make, so it was just a biscuit with blueberries inside. I mean, it was delicious. But then pretty soon after, I was in North Carolina for a mountain trip mm -hmm. with my friends, and we went to Bojangles, and I was like, oh my God, you can't beat this. Ah! Can't beat it. My it's homemade? That's so rude. I put a lot of time and effort into this. No, those. it was amazing. No. You were so much better than Bojangles. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Will do. Bojangles haul, guys. I got a box. <gasps> this packaging is so cute. I got a box, and in here, I got, okay, I wanted to try these bow rounds. It comes with breakfast. I think it's like a hash brown, but it said online. A hint of onion, and I love onion, so I got that. Hello? Uh -oh. Cal got his ranch. We got bow rounds. We got thigh and a drumstick fried chicken. And then we also got, oh, it comes with a biscuit. Wow, that looks good. As well as mac and cheese. And then I also wanted to try their dessert, which is sweet potato pie. They were out of uh, bowberry biscuits, as you saw. But I mean, we'll try one later on. And I want to get to this. I am a Popeye's fried chicken girl. So, I mean, let's see if this lives up to the hype. Wow, I'm very excited. Look at those gorgeous, mm -hmm. crispy cracklies. I'm showing the vlog as well. Here we go. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. You don't like it. Popeye's chicken is better. All right. It is. Sorry. That's fine. It's got some nice flavor, a nice little kick. It's not super crunchy. I like a really crunchy chicken, and that's why I like Popeye's, but I mean, it's good. Can I try yours? I need you to try this. Okay. Cal wants me to try his. I feel like it needs some honey on it, like a nice sweetness, mm -hmm. like a Chick-fil-A biscuit. It's good, don't get me wrong, it's good. The chicken is juicy. I wanna try a bow round. They said these are fresh and hot right now. Woohoo! really, really hot. I don't think I've ever had those. Ooh, now I'm gonna try the mac and cheese. A big bite. Mmm, mm-mm, that is delicious. When all of the noodles like get kind of mushy, this might be the best fast food mac and cheese I've tried. Mmm. Okay guys, mac and cheese, bomb. I thought I was gonna like the chicken a lot more than I do. Thank you so much, Cal, I'm so sorry. You're welcome. I'm gonna give the thigh a chance too. Maybe it just was that one drumstick, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, the thigh is much more crunchy. Oh yeah. 
Yeah? Mmm. Okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted like juicy, hot, crunchy flavor. That's what I wanted. This is what I needed. Guys, I take it back. The chicken is really, really good. Look how juicy that is. Oh my God. I should not have started with the drumstick. I was like, for a place that does just fried chicken, I know they'll do it better than that. Yeah, they also do regular breakfast sandwiches too, but those aren't like great. Like eggs and sausage? Yeah. Last but not least, we have a bow sweetie pie. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about a sweet potato pie. Yeah, I've never had one before. It smells good though. It looks like a McDonald's pie. It's very like autumn. Also a Popeye's pie. apple pie though. Ooh hoo hoo. Here she is. She's got like a crusty exterior. Cinnamon sugar. Mmm. Is it good? Mmm. It tastes very autumnal. Very similar texture to pumpkin pie. Just a little bit more like warm. I do want a blueberry biscuit though. So I'm gonna get one of those soon. That was a wonderful experience. It would have been a 10 out of 10 if I got to try the bowberry biscuit, but we'll try that later on. We will. And while Cal loves Bojangles, he's more excited for cookout. So I'm even more excited for cookout, so. I'm worried about cookout though, cause I feel like I've overhyped it for you. I'm hyped, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. Wow. All right, guys, we went to Bucky's. It was such an amazing experience. We got so much stuff. I did a haul on TikTok, but I'm gonna show you guys what we got. I got a sausage wrapped in a tortilla. I just wanted to try this and it was, it's good. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and keep it for when I'm drunk at some point during this weekend. I got the candied almonds that are absolutely delicious. I also got some beaver nuggets. These are like little corn puffs covered in sea salt caramel. I got, oh my God, I'm so excited about these. These are candied jalapenos. I love the hot and sweet jalapenos from Trader Joe's. Those are so good. But these this one's intrigued me because it looks like it's almost in honey. Like it looks like a really thick, sweet liquid on the inside. And I love a candied jalapeno on like breakfast tacos, breakfast sandwiches, nachos, anything. I love like the sweet and the spicy and the salty all together. So really excited to bring these home. I got some fudge to try. I did the birthday cake fudge, which I liked. A little too sweet for me. This chocolate fudge though is amazing. We also got, I got Alicia these dark chocolate raisins. Cal got dark chocolate almonds. I wanted to try these spicy Cajun craw tater flavored potatoes potato chips. I got Alicia also some of these almonds. They're so good, they're cinnamon glazed almonds. And then I got a ton of Celsius, like two bags full for everybody because we're gonna need a lot of energy this weekend. Hello guys, okay, we are ready for the first event of the weekend. I am super excited for all the festivities to begin. I'm wearing this cute dress that I got from House of CB that is like a little jellyfish moment, one side down little trail. I think it's super cute. Hair and makeup, I just did like a little extra glam. I haven't worn lashes in so long but lashes are on. For the purse, I'm bringing my nude purse and I'm wearing these little nude sandal situation and this is the look. We are home from the party. Look who joined us. Sleepover. 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 Uh, we just went to cookout, which Cal has been fiending for since I met him years ago. And Alicia and I yes. got our order. We went a little crazy. We ordered our own, but then we had our <laughs> friend downstairs who had a delay and mm -hmm. had an Uber from Atlanta and it was just, he had a long day. And we we're like, are you hungry? So we gave him our food. Well, some of our food. So we have some here to choose from. That's our chicken wrap. I think I actually forgot. You can have some of my burger, by the way. Oh. I have my own burger, baby. Wait, are you there's sure? a yeah. yeah, there's two, no, we'll, we'll have enough. We have a chicken wrap, a burger, two quesadillas, and cheese curds. Oh, oh. That's what we wanted. We, wanted. we were saying to Cal, we want our burger to look like a smushed hockey puck. That mm. damn near does look like one. We got bun, cheese, meat, tomato, oh. onion, ketchup, mayo. This is a cheeseburger quesadilla. Mmm. Oh my god. It tastes like a school cafeteria in the best way. Wow, Cal. Oh my god. That's good. Okay. I wish I got tomato on it. Here, you can have. You can have this. Not the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> and then go. I still want- An entire tomato slice. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me try. Cheeseburger quesadilla. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, so much better. Mm. Mm. It tastes like a homemade. You didn't get a good bite. You no, it was good. good. It's just, I wish I did just cheese. The steak has like some flavor and I wanted just cheese, but that's okay. Isn't that just cheese? No, I think we got two of the same. Yeah, there's meat in this one. <gasps> we got <gasps> cheese curds. These are the cheese curds? Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. I am happy to be sharing this with you guys. <laughs> I'm happy you're happy. Mm. And I don't want y'all to be performing in front of the camera right now. I want y'all to give me your real thoughts. <laughs> I'm turning this off. Okay, bye. I'm sorry, Remy. Hi guys, good morning. It is the next day. I have my liquid IV here and I am feeling, whoa. I'm not feeling hungover, but I definitely am feeling dehydrated. Cal and I are up. We need to go to Sephora because the foundation that I was wearing yesterday, I don't know if I told you guys this, was far too light for my current 
tan. So we're gonna go to the mall. Cal is ashamed of how much fried food we've eaten in the past 72 hours. So he parked in the very back of the parking lot. So we have to walk as far as we can. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta do it. We're going. Let's, walk. Let's get some steps in. Like, come on, high knees, high knees, high knees, high boys. Knees. High knees, high knees, high knees, high knees. Keep that core activated. <laughs> Straight back. No, no. <laughs> kick, butt, kicker butt. Butt kickers, what are they called? What, what, like these? No. <laughs> what was that? It's a heel kick. No, no, wait, feel me. This is a butt kicker. When you go like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Activate those glutes. <laughs> Side note, this mall is sweet. We've got a Trader Joe's, a Sephora, something being built, Vineyard Vines, Cal. Insert photo of Cal wearing Vineyard Vines in college. We've got a Bath and Body Works, Peloton, Williams-Sonoma, Restoration Hardware. You definitely did. I had one button down. He had chubbies and Sperry's. I never wore I have a photo of you literally wearing both. Alicia also needs a new foundation shade. I hope they have the one she asked for. 6.5, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Alicia. <laughs> they don't have it anymore. It's broken. Okay, gonna grab a new shade of the House Labs foundation. I love this foundation so much. Right now, I think I'm 280, and I think I need 300, I think. Hi, guys. Okay, we came back to the room. Actually, I picked up Alicia. We went to CVS to grab some random things that we needed. I got some new eyelashes because I packed a bunch, and then I forgot to actually put it in my bag. So I got my favorite pair of eyelashes, which are these ones. It was funny because I told Alicia these were my favorite at CVS, and she was like, you say everything's your favorite. And I was like, yes, I know that, but like, these are my real favorite ones. They're the Kiss Lashes from the Muses Collection in the Noblesse style. I love these so much. We came back to the room, we hung out, we rested for a bit, and now we are going out to dinner and then going to the official little pre-toast to the wedding tomorrow. It is cocktail. I got it mixed up. Last night was like fun cocktail and then tonight was like real cocktail. Luckily, I brought an extra dress. I did not plan for this and luckily it fits, but this is the hair and the makeup. I did like a brown smoky eye with like liner in the waterline to make it a bit more like sultry. I parted my hair to the side, which I know it's not uh, cool anymore, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit because I didn't really bring any like things to do actual hairstyles with. For my lip, I love it so much. I put this Sephora Collection lipstick in No Regrets on the lips and then the gloss on top is this new, it's a lip gloss in the color Push. So the brown matches with everything. Hair like this. Oh, I've also been loving, this is the new Skylar Hair and Body Mist. I've been keeping this in my purse, spraying it on my body, but I love putting it in my hair because you know, when you put heat on your hair, sometimes it smells a little burnt and this just makes your hair smell so nice. This is in the uh, Vanilla Sky. It's cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar. It smells really good. Here is the dress of the night. A brown little mini dress. It's like a silky moment. It's from Mistress Rocks. I got it a long time ago. I'm wearing the same shoes from last night because they're super comfortable from Jeffrey Campbell. Same purse that I always wear on nights out. And then, yes, that is the look. I feel like I'm forgetting something very big. Oh, I need to put some perfume on in my bag. I've got my little Marc Jacobs Perfect Perfume. One of my absolute favorite scents ever. There we go. And I think that's everything. Here's a look. Oh, what I wanted to say. It looks like a skirt and a top, but it's actually all connected and you can also like tuck this in if you want it to look like that. But I like the little corset out, so I'm gonna pull it out. Here's the look. Cal, do you wanna do your outfit of the night? Yeah. Cal looks super fancy. Thank you. Nice Zara t-shirt. Uh, just got this jacket. I don't know what you call this kind of jacket, but it's nice and it's Michael Kors. We got it from Belk. Yep, we went to Belk today and he bought that. These pants are from Abercrombie, I think. Oh, cool. Yeah, and then Converse. Very nice. Converse. All right, we're gonna go get some dinner and then head over to the toast. See you guys probably tomorrow. Bye. Hey y'all, it's wedding day. Woohoo! Come on, Cal. It's wedding day. Woo. Hello, guys. Okay, we just got ready for the wedding. We are perfectly on time. Actually, like a couple minutes early, which is even better. I will show you the look. Sorry, the lighting in this hotel is not fabulous, and there's not many places to film anything. But here is the look. This is the dress from House of CB. Same bag as the whole weekend. Same shoes as the whole weekend. This dress is actually perfect. If you are my height and looking for long dresses, I recommend, oh, by the way, I'm 5'3". I think if you're like 5'4 or, or shorter, their mini dresses are perfect because then they're perfectly long for you and you don't even need to get them tailored. They're long stuff though, that's a different story, but it's so cute, so pretty. You can wear it like on the shoulder or off the shoulder. The makeup, the lighting is horrific. Let's try this way. There you go. Oh, so much better. I did the makeup to match the dress perfectly, but very subtly because it's obviously still a wedding. Cal looks so cute. Here, let me go this way actually. I think it's better, much better this way. There we go. <gasps> the 
hair. I did the Dyson blowout. I packed my lash glue because I know I'm gonna cry my lashes off. I watched Brad Wars while we got ready and already cried like three times. So hopefully it's all good. I'm wearing my Bottega dupe earrings, got the ring on, got my watch on, and I feel like I'm missing something. I got my lip, I got my phone, I got my wallet, camera. I think that's pretty much it. Cal looks so cute. Do you wanna show them, Lovey? Hello. So handsome. You look amazing. The watch is a nice little uh, addition. Thank you. Here, let's pose together for the camera, love. Our first black tie wedding. Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head out the door and I'll see you guys eventually. Bye. Good morning, guys. It's the day after the wedding. Hello, Cal Robert. Cal had so, we all had so much fun last night. Cal had the best night ever. So many people kept walking up to me. They're like, Cal is the best. Cal is so nice. Cal is so fun. Cal's having the best time. Oh you were the star besides Matt and Patricia. It was amazing. Truly such a great time. We went to a bar after and then we ended up getting home around like two, I think. And I drank so many vodka Red Bulls at the club, hoping that it would wake me up at the club. Of course, it never works that way. And then when I got home, I couldn't sleep till 4 a.m. So that's what happened, but it was so fun. And yes, it is the morning now. We're up, we're at it, and we are heading over to Atlanta. We're stopping to film a little main channel mukbang along the way, and then we get to finally see Steph and the babies. Hello, guys. Okay, we stopped. We're like 30 minutes out from Atlanta. We stopped at QT to do a little bathroom break, and then I grabbed a hot coffee. It's 55 degrees here, and I'm loving it. It's a little rainy outside, and I just checked the LA weather for this week when we get home, and it's in the 90s. I'm so bummed. But QT was awesome. I got a hot coffee, added some mocha, uh, cappuccino and a little creamer. It's delicious. Wonderful experience. I've seen great things about that. And now I'm taking over driving so Cal can get a little nap in. Hey guys, we're here. I'm in charge of the stroller and I'm feeling very mother right now. Very mother. I love a stroller. I can't wait to be able to push my kid around one day. I like this double situation too. Nice even. I'm showing them that I can push your stroller, Steph. Look who's here. Hi. Reunited. We're in the I love it. I love you. And I'm on stroller duty and I'm loving it. Hi guys, oh my God, when my hair gets greasy, I just like have these like single pieces that just break away from the front. Please ignore that. Hello, okay, so we saw Steph, we saw the babies. I finally got to meet Aria. They were both so cute, but Aria was so, she was just, she loved us so much. Mm -hmm. It was so sweet. At one point she fell and Steph picked her up and then she was crying and it was so sad and she was crying and then she looked at me and she went uppy uppy and like, and wanted me to hold her. And then I got some really cute videos of Cal playing with her and my ovaries pretty much combusted <laughs> right there on the spot. It was so sweet. I'll put the clips in here. <gasps> Are you doing peekaboo? Yeah. Ah. Ah. What do you think, buddy? Nice. Yeah. Pump. Yeah. Where'd you go? So yes, truly Cal and I were saying, this trip has just been amazing. Like I obviously knew the wedding was gonna be fun, but I didn't realize like how much fun everything else was gonna be too. And it's just been so nice to be able to see Steph twice, to see the babies, to see the wedding, to see all of our friends, to hang out. It was just amazing and spent so much time with Cal and also try all this bomb food. Speaking of which, we're in the cookout drive-thru right now because we wanted to get dinner and cook out one more time before we left. And I also filmed it for my main channel video. So I got a cherry chocolate milkshake and I'm so excited to just sit in this car we have like two hours before we even need to be at the airport. So we're just gonna chill in here, eat our ice cream, hang out, and then head over to the airport. It's so good. Mm. I'm gonna miss cookout so much, Cal. Me too. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about it all the time with you. I know, it's so good. Mm. Mm. I've never had their peppermint chocolate chip milkshake, but it looks really good. We gotta get back here. As yeah. we all know, I'm a peppermint girl. It's mm. only out in December and January. Well. Guess we'll be back. But yes, on that note, guys, I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here because all we're doing is going to the airport and flying home now, and we're not landing till like 2 a.m. So it's gonna be a late flight. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. People are honking. Hope you enjoyed coming to the south with us. I know I had a fabulous time. You too. Mm -hmm. He's very happy. I had a great his, time. His mint Oreo milkshake. This, was, this series was like an amazing week. I agree. It was so, so much fun. Love ya, bye.